Hi my YouTube family, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Remember to like my video, share my video, and for those who haven't subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Please subscribe to Bev Brown. Help her to reach her thousand, alright? So, yes, to all Jamaicans here and abroad, today is our heroes celebrating day. Because we have to remember heroes who have done a lot for both our four parents and for us also. If they were selfish as oh, we are selfish against one another and they used to fight and kill one another like oh, we are doing it now, they wouldn't stand up for our rights for us to be independent today. So those heroes put their life on the line for us to make the way better for us But because back then it was slavery days, slavery where they beat the blacks and do them bad, they all pet and women who are pregnant, take them as nothing. We would say, this one said, like John Paul would said, I bet Sheila have a girl baby in her belly. And the next one say, is a boy Sheila have? And if you make the bet, for them win them, put money on the table and they would use their sword to cut the belly of the pregnant mother. And when the baby drop out, you man drop here. What them say, yes, it's a boy, yes, it's a girl. No. Hard to know that is a human. They didn't take blacks as human being. They take us as take our four parent as slave. Nothing as animal like animal treated them bad. They work, they work and they work and they work. No paid little bit and nothing. And they beat them. And when they are tired, they get a whole heap of beaten. You understand? Yes. And um, our wonderful hero heroes fight for a right. They could have lived a nice life without thinking about the rest of people who were mistreated and ill-treated but they were not thinking about themselves alone they were thinking about others although they died for us they died for us giving us our freedom all right big up to all family members of those heroes because they still have family marcus garvey or bogle Nanny of the Maroon, Buster Man, all of them. They have uh, Buster Man T, all of them. William Gordon, all of them. The seven of them are family members still alive today. So we have Norman Washington Manley, all of them. They stand up for the right man. They fight for the right, you know? And they could have lived their life or they want to live it. Sam Sharp, all of them, man. Big up to the family, them who are still here, alive, some in Sentence Bay and so on. Marcus Garvey, man, emancipate herself from mental slavery. Yeah, Marcus Garvey, the great man. Yeah, all of them did well. They stand up for me. They stood up for a right. They, they didn't fight them one another like how we're doing it. No, right? Blacks fit stand up for black man. We feel loving, loving one another. You know, far if our parents coming from, then take them from Africa and sell them, and then come out here to the bushy marsh of them and then beat them and ill treat them and do them bad. All the road them were cut and so you think do it. We four parents have to do it. They never have the niceness like no way they use bulldozer, tractor, caterpillar, and all of them something they feel cut with. Them have to use a hand, have to use sledge, pickaxe. Big Amma and them something there and the women them have his stone and beat this stone, beat this stone for help him make the road. Yeah, so we have to remember when them time come round, you know, bless up. So enough respect to all the family members who are alive of the heroes. They are dead so we can, you know, them now go hear me, them dead, 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 resting in their grave. For the great work they have done we are proud of them we are all so proud of them man they did well they did their best they could have walked away and didn't care but they stood up for a right they stood up just like um nelson mandela there in, who was in africa who stood up for the black rights also he was a, a wealthy man could have just lived in life and not busy with whatever was going on but he stood up and um this great man what they assassinate 
king i can't remember his name but he stood up for the black race too many blacks who was in power not in power who have it and could speak up martin luther king yeah yeah man all those black then get up and stand up for a right man and bob Marley get up and sing again and say stand up for a right yeah man don't give up the fight but no we're not standing up for a right we are killing each other we are killing each other and that is so wrong look at that what happened the other day the 10 months old baby what the, the, the lady did she have a daughter would she like someone to do that to her daughter no so why did she come and do that to that lady and the little baby 10 months old can you imagine no heart no heart she think god sleeping she could never get away with something like that never my god may god have mercy condolences to all the family members who are mourning the loss of their loved one who were brutally slain by the hands of the heartless ones remember to like share comment all right pick up on yourself every time blessing upon blessing man <laughs> Yeah, man. So, um, Paul Bogo Bosamanti and Marcus Garvey, Naman Manly, Nanny of the Maroon, George William Garden, Garden, and Sam Sharp. Yeah, man. The great men, them who fight for you and the heroine. If I saw it, <laughs> the one lady who stood up, Nanny of the Maroon.